guys, it's Melanie. Happy Thursday. Welcome back. We are doing a little bit of like an old fashioned stuff YouTube video today. We're going to be doing a wear test with some uh, liquid lipsticks that were sent to me courtesy of Urban Decay. Um, they reached out several weeks ago and asked if I was interested in trying some of their products. And I was like, heck yeah. I mean, I've been purchasing Urban Decay makeup ever since the original uh, Naked Palette came out. I owned pretty much most of the Naked Palettes. The one that I still have left in my collection is the Naked Basics 2. Still, I think that is an absolutely fantastic basic palette. Love it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I was kind of honored and they didn't say what they were going to send, but one day uh, I went down to check the mail and I had some liquid lipsticks from Urban Decay. So um, these were sent to me. All opinions will still be my own. I actually recorded this, well, I started to record this video yesterday and then I thought, you know what, I am just going to see how this actually wears throughout the day so that I feel a little bit more comfortable talking about it in the video but we will also do a check-in towards like the end of the day here so that you can see how the liquid lipstick wore. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and read through their claims on this um, and then just kind of share with you what my experience was wearing the lipstick yesterday. I will say um, these three colors that they sent are colors that I am personally kind of uncomfortable wearing. Um, we'll do swatches. Um, there are 12 shades available in the line, I believe, and a lot of them are like really fun, bright colors. Now, I will say they have a really beautiful red shade, and the red shade is called Unbreakable. Um, it looks like the type of red that would be really flattering for a lot of different skin tones. So I think I might actually pick that one up because... I do think a red lip is really beautiful, especially during the holidays, but it's hard to pull a red lip off because when red smears, oh man, like a nude lipstick, you can kind of get away with like letting it sort of go outside the lines a little bit, but you cannot do that with red. Like you need something that's going to stay put. And after wearing this liquid lipstick yesterday, I can honestly say this is a really great formula. So. Let's go ahead and read through their claims here. So, get fierce with 12 unbreakable glossy lipstick shades. Lip Bond gives intense color and instant shine with one swipe application. Comfortable to wear. This lipstick leaves your lips feeling moisturized uh, while not budging under pressure. Comfort that commits no flaking, cracking, fading, crumbling, or drying. Smudge proof lipstick with transfer proof and food and water resistant formula. Um, Keeps intense, saturated color for up to 16 hours. Lightweight, comfortable application does not feel sticky on the lips. Removes best with an oil-based makeup remover. This is a vegan formula and obviously Urban Decay is cruelty free. So first of all, let me just tell you right now, I am not looking for any lip product to ever last 16 hours on my lip. I, I don't need it to last that long. And um, yesterday, I believe I wore this for eight hours straight and it, it wore incredibly well. Now, after eight hours, I was over it, <laughs> and I took it. I just took it off myself. Um, I am not someone who minds reapplying lipstick, so I don't think for me a long wear lips liquid lipstick would be something that I would wear on like an everyday basis. I really actually kind of like changing my lipstick up halfway throughout the day if I feel like it. You can't really do that with this particular type of lipstick, um, but I will tell you right now. It was super comfortable during the eight hours of wear. There was no fading. It stayed bright. And I'll show you guys the bright shade today. Um, it was super intense. It's certainly, when I was eating, like it didn't get all over my face. Normally, if I eat with a red lipstick, it makes a mess. I don't, I don't consider myself a messy eater, but when it comes to like eating with a bright lipstick, for some reason, it just always ends up all over, like around my lips so easy to wear again crazy comfortable it did not crack it did not flake at all it looked super vibrant and my lips didn't feel dry and they didn't get that <laughs> this is my least favorite like term ever but those like liquid lipstick like butthole looking lips <laughs> i know i know sorry about the visual but i i don't feel like this did that at all it just, my lips look great 
I mean, it was like I was wearing just a regular lipstick, but a lipstick that did not budge. So um, let me show you guys the three shades that they sent me here, and we're going to put one of them on my lips today. And the dress that I wore today, <laughs> this pink, I think is going to match my lips very nicely. So we've got some bright shades here. So the three shades that I have out of the 12 that are available are Solo Player, One Strangers, and Shock Value. We're going to put shock value on my lips. You do have to shake these for, you're supposed to shake them for five seconds before you put it on. I don't know what that does, activates the formula. I don't know, I'm, I've never been a liquid lipstick person, so. But anyway, um, my lips are moisturized. I took the um, lip balm that I had off, so now, we got some pink. We're gonna put on some pink. Now, I can't talk while I'm doing this, so bear with me. Like, you you do have to be careful with the placement. There is not a lot of room for error here, so I don't wanna mess this up because I have to wear this all day today. It's bright. <laughs> it like matches my dress perfect. Oh my god, this is so this is something. Stop talking. Stop talking. Wow, yeah, right? <laughs> it's it's so pink. Again, you gotta be careful with this placement because if you go outside the lines and you try to fix it, you're gonna have to get some like oil-based, um, like an oil-based uh, first cleanse, <laughs> something like that to clean it up. This is very pigmented. It will leave a stain on your lips. Um, but this morning when I woke up, like the, the stain was gone again. So, um, yeah, this is, this is the color. It's very bright. Let's go ahead and, um, I'll swatch all three. So the other two here, let's give them a shake. I cannot get over how bright this is. All right. Once strangers, I, I personally don't care for this color at all. I would never wear this. Um, it is just not a shade that it's really a melanie shade at all it's very brown <laughs> so here it is next to the pink um this one here is solo player stella really likes this one you'll see why in a second who is it's very very lavender <laughs> so there is solo player I feel like maybe I would use the solo player like on Halloween. I do have this delightful um, unicorn costume that I wear when I hand out candy. Yeah, I am that mom. Um, so that might go with my unicorn costume, but then again, so with this. <laughs> and then here is a swatch of that shock value, which I just put on my lips. There you go. Those are the three. Shock Value, uh, Solo Player, and Once Strangers. Those are the shades. And then here is, uh, here it is on my lips. It's so bright, you guys. Anyway, I'm going to go about my day. It's 11 o'clock right now. I'm kind of getting a late start. So um, here, I'll show you guys what time it is. It's 10, 59. There you go. And um, 11 o'clock. So I will check in with you around five o'clock this afternoon. Um, we are going to go out to dinner today. <laughs> I don't really feel comfortable wearing this out in public, so I will be removing it before we leave for dinner. So I'll do my final check in then. But even like, I, I feel like this is still going to be a worthwhile check-in for you guys because you'll see just how true the color stays. And I am going to have lunch and I will be drinking water. So you, you'll see how well this wears throughout at least one meal and then multiple watering sessions. I don't know, I'm trying to get better about consuming water. It's my least favorite thing in the world, but 
I'm doing it. So yeah, we'll, we'll check in a little bit later and you can see what this looks like after several hours of wear. All right, see you soon. Well, hi diddly ho there friends. Uh, first of all, you're gonna have to forgive a few things. <laughs> um, it is 5.15 in the evening here. Um, the sun like sets in the back of the house. So currently it is blazing in this room. I had to close the blinds. We are just dealing with the ring light right now. And um, that's really harsh lighting. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, and my hair went up because I also worked out. Uh, I, I did a whole lot of things today. This, this was a crazy busy day. So I have been in and out of the house. I have been, I ate lunch. I had some snacks. I drank quite a bit of water. Um, I worked out, I pulled weeds, uh, cleaned up the back patio, cleaned out the hummingbird feeders, refilled it. I've just been doing stuff all day long, right? And not once did I touch up this lipstick at all. It has literally been this vibrant, this, um, like it looks great. I mean, I don't love the color. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love the color, but this lipstick held up all day, you guys, uh, through lunch, through snacks, through water breaks, through working out, all of it, it, ju it just holds up. So, I mean, if you can find a color and you are looking for a longer wear lip product that is super, super comfortable, I would say check this one out. Like it literally, it does not, mm, catching my lips. Yeah, it just, it doesn't come off. But it doesn't feel like your typical lipstick. I feel like there's almost like a balm still over my lips, but there isn't. Um, super comfortable, it doesn't look dry or cakey. I, it just looks as good as it did when I put it on. So this formula is for sure a winner. Um, I would say the only con would be the limited color choices <laughs> and that a lot of the color choices are quite bold. So um, like I said, I think for me, the red would be a really great investment. So I think I'm going to stop by Sephora and pick that up or Ulta, which whichever one I end up at first. And yeah, I'll totally pick up the red one. I'll let you guys know when I get it and um, we'll, we'll put it on my lips. <laughs> We'll see what it looks like. So anyway, uh, a big thanks to Urban Decay for sending these out to try. Um, definitely a big fan of the formula. Um, I just wish that there were some more neutral options available. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Check out the description box down below uh, to find links where to buy this liquid lipstick. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And please subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Friday Favorites and Flops. Take care. Toodaloo.